So the GH6 just came out. Let's see if the GH5 can hold up in 2022. Now, I do not have the GH6, but I have seen a lot of test footage and a couple things that may make it stand out from the crowd. Now, I'm not saying it's a bad camera. In fact, it is still leaps and bounds beyond the GH5, but that's not quite the video that we're talking about today. We're talking about like, is the GH5 still a good buy in 2022? The short answer is yes. Uh, the long answer is uh, also yes. I mean, if you're not making content or films with the stuff that you already have, such as like an iPhone in your pocket, may I suggest a movie called Unsane, a video that was also created with an iPhone and won a whole bunch of Academy Awards. It was an iPhone 7. Let's talk about specs. So the GH5 does shoot HLG and Vlog if you buy it separately. Uh, that's one of the only caveats of buying a GH5. But to be honest, I personally use GH5's HLG settings, which I'm currently using right now, to shoot. But if you want to, you could spend $100 and get another picture profile called Vlog, which allows you to get more dynamic range out of your camera, which there's a funny story about that when I sent in my camera. They sent me a new camera and they didn't have Vlog installed on it. But that's neither here nor there. So, like I said, you can shoot Hyperlog Gamma, also known as HLG, or Vlog. And if you didn't want to shoot in those two profiles, uh, the color science on this camera is actually so good you could probably get away with a portrait profile if you're just doing vlogs or something similar of that nature. So the GH5 can shoot 1080p in variable frame rates and so on and so forth, 4K, 5K, and 6K. Yes, I said 5K, and I'll get to that in a few seconds. So like I said, 1080p if you shoot in variable frame rates, or if you just want a small file size, you can definitely get away with 1080p. Even in today's modern age, most people can't, aren't even watching on their phones in uh, 4K. So if you want more color information or more information in general, 4K is probably your best route to go with in the GH5 because it just shoots stunning 4K, like I said, with a great color science as well. And if you want to shoot anamorphic, it can actually squeeze the 5K sensor uh, to make it more of an anamorphic look. Yes, I said 5K sensor. There is a way to go into the settings of the camera and actually just unsqueeze the video with a regular lens. I'll put in the description a video of how you can utilize this in your future videos. And one of the biggest things, and I think what really stood out to me on in terms of GH5 is the, the like they pioneered the stabilization features that they have in current phones these days. It's in-body stabilization, and to be honest, it's some of the best I've seen. It has really good stabilization for like your vlogs or weddings, or if you have shaky hands like me, you can definitely get away with even not having a tripod in some of the settings it can set to your GH5. And one of the greatest things I'm actually looking into getting into is actually the GH5 actually has really cheap cinema lenses because of its micro four thirds mount. I think this is crazy. Like you can get a cinema lens for like $400 on B&H right now or even Amazon. Link in the description below. Now again with the GH5, and I think this is what separates it from like a vlogging YouTube camera that I'm using it currently in a cinema camera. The autofocus is actually quite terrible on the GH5. <laughs> to the point if you're doing like product shots or something like that, I would highly recommend not using the GH5 for that specific application. But for talking headshots like this, it is fine. It is perfect. And if you're shooting a feature length film, like I said, I think the GH5 actually excels in like the film aspects of videography. And who knows, maybe they'll update the GH5 where the micro four thirds mount will actually autofocus a little bit better. I was baffled when they released one back in 2019. And I think it actually did improve the autofocus capabilities even that further. And that's about it. Uh, if you liked the video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and uh, leave a comment in the comment section below to see any more content that you wanna see in the near future. I wanna keep this conversation going. What is your favorite feature of your GH5 or even your camera that you currently have, whether it be old, new? I wanna know what, what you like about your camera. Until next time, I'll see you in the next one.